Let's look at some examples where we find the equation of a quadratic. Please pause the video and try these on your own. Find the equation of the following graphs, and they want to you to give the equations in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So, if we start off with number 1, we can see that we've got the coordinates of the turning point, negative 3 and 2, and then we have the x, y coordinate for another point that lies on the graph. Whenever you are given the turning point, it makes sense for us to use the form of the equation ax minus p all squared plus q because we can multiply it out to get the ax squared plus bx plus c at the end. And if I can see my turning point, it's easier to work with this form of the equation because I can substitute the values in. So this will be x plus 3 all squared plus 2. Now in order to solve for a, we use the xy coordinate that we were given, so we substitute 4 for y and negative 5 for x. And we can now solve this equation for a. Negative 5 add 3 is negative 2, negative 2 squared is positive 4. And if we subtract 2 from both sides, we get 2 is equal to 4a. Divide both sides by 4 and you get a to be equal to a half. So if we put our x and our y back in so that we can find the general equation, we now know that a is a half, and we need to multiply this out so that we can get it in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c plus 2, and multiply the half in, so it's a half x squared plus 3x, 9 times a half is 9 over 2, 2 is 4 over 2, and 9 over 2 add 4 over 2 is 13 over 2. So the equation in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c looks like that. Okay, if we take a look at number 2. Here we are given the x-intercepts at negative 1 and positive 3 and an xy coordinate that lies on the graph. So the form of the equation that we will use here is the factorized or the x-intercept form of the equation where x1 and x2 are x-intercepts. So if we substitute in, it will have x minus negative 1 and x minus positive 3. We can now use the coordinates of the extra point that we're given. And this x is the same. It's the same x value, so we substitute 2 in place of that x for both, um, in both cases. So that gives us 3 times negative 1, so we have negative 3a is equal to 6, so a is equal to negative 2. So therefore y is equal to negative 2. If we now put our x and our y back in, we can multiply this out in order to get the equation. So it will be x squared minus 2x minus 3, and multiply the negative 2 into the bracket, plus 4x plus 6. And that is the equation for that graph.